<clears throat> Alright, guys. I just... <sighs> Alright, let's... Just to, get, to get into this, my first thoughts of this project. Honestly, was that it belonged in the garbage. Minus some tracks. To be honest, you know, granted, I am very grateful for every independent artist who either I contacted or they contacted me for working on this. And with that, I'm, I'm very, very proud of you and very proud of your guys' work. I mean, I just think that when I was learning mixing, and this was after the fact of Buried Hate being my most looked at track, being the top hit with 200 plus views, <laughs> I wish I could just rewind and just take a break and a breath. Because as I killed a figurative monster in this project, I also killed my bad habits. I learned that the proper way to deliver, write, and mix, and everything was literally everything to the project. So this is kind of a part of me gone, as well as a part as a look on how I'm going to basically publish songs. No matter what type of project it is. And that that's literally what my problem was with EW. Although I hated some of the tracks I made because of self artistry artist idiotacy if that makes sense couldn't say that word self artist idiocy i realized that you know music is 100 percent subjective and as a fan they can 100 percent listen to like a totally poor track and they can love it as it's god it's creator it's soul hates it which is me although when singles i signed up for I don't know let's just get into this so basically this track the way it was or this this project it really wasn't gonna pop up so when I signed up for singles pretty much they were getting insane literally I was doing one with like SMG I was doing with with Sun Spike I was doing one with Hunter J all these different singles you know obviously the song was SMG got off but and you know on his own channel as a single complete single um, so at the beginning, there wasn't any monster story, but in every project of mine, I like to have it as a piece. So with all these different singles, I decided to put them in a, in a mixtape because a mixtape is just a project with songs that don't really go together. So I pretty much put a monster piece in the story and it was, you know, you know, very real because every project of mine has a story piece either it's real or it's important to because it's trying to tell the one that i'm all, overall attempt to try to tell throughout all my projects um so to start off the obvious of connections are intro which is the horrorcore in interlude hold up fuck a collab jabbed and outro so these were the story pieces to the bigger bigger story movie and paralyzed is another connection as you know one is a love song and one is a hate toxic fu song Pretty much songs that, you know, Slick at the Ice basically said, hey, can you put this on your channel? I don't really want to put it on my channel. So I said, sure. Um, and Buried Hate initially was just going to be a connection to stick with it because of the factor that, you know, it was, you know, hey, fuck you. Stop basically hating on me. But then it got a sequel with a rise up for my burial. Um, the next connection is Peace, Cut My Balls, and Chillin'. They were all connected. And it's, it's, those were more tracks that talk about each other as well as connecting as it's the way it's told, as well as, you know, all being the center of goofiness and lighthearted. Um, then the huge connection is The Crow's Dream, Devil's Do, Monster, and in which those tracks had the horror, and demonic, and character side of me becomes seduced to just do murder. And then the only track that was recorded, this is actually what a lot of people were mistaken. They're like, why does he sound so, you know, newbie on that track? Um, the only track that was recorded without my new mic was Fame Drop, and that was in the first two hooks. It was supposed to be on the Underdog album, but that album got canceled because a lot of the, you know, the, the community just, you know, disappeared and just fell apart after Ghost and Cringy left. So that album got canceled. And the rest were just tracks that I wanted to have because they included some very good artists, including Still Bars, Wangara G, and, and Creativus Lutri, or Lettery. I think that's how you spell I think that's how you say his name. But I just call him CD. And so this is pretty much my included included project info. I did love this project. 
It's a part of me. It's part of my history. It's part of my past. So, on to the next chapter. The Remastered EP.